Hello, hello, my brave and fabulous mortal soul. Venus Kalita here with a surprise episode of Riddle Me Recipe Blitz. Something for your sweet tooth today. Solve the riddles to reveal the recipe for a super sweet, tasty treat. Let's play. Riddle me this. I am a non-Newtonian fluid, and you can use me to make slime. What am I? Do 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 do. Riddle number two. You put dough on me before baking things in the oven. What am I? Riddle number three. I help give you cavities, but you eat and drink me anyways. Tee hee. What am I? Riddle number four. I am the element that makes up most of your body contents. What am I? Riddle number five. I'm not a sugar cube or honeycomb sweet. I'm viscous and golden and used to make treats. What am I? Do 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 do. Riddle number six. I have an ear, but I can't hear. I have a stock, but I'm not rich. I have silks, but I don't wear clothing. What am I? Riddle number seven i'm an edible dye that changes the colors of foods and drinks what am i riddle number eight i'm finely ground powder that dissolves quickly in water used in cold drinks and baking what am i all right, um, so let's review and find out how many of my riddles you were able to solve. In riddle number one, I am a non-Newtonian fluid and you can use me to make slime. What am I? It's corn flour, also known as cornstarch. You'll need one packet or four cups and three tablespoons of corn flour, aka cornstarch. In riddle number two, you put dough on me before baking things in the oven. What am I? A shallow baking tray. In number three, I help give you cavities, but you eat and drink me anyways. Tee hee. What am I? Sugar. A half cup of sugar is all we'll need. In riddle number four, I am the element that makes up most of your body contents. What am I? Water. And we'll need three tablespoons of water for this recipe. And riddle number five, I'm not a sugar cube or honeycomb sweet. I'm viscous and golden and used to make treats. What am I? It's corn syrup. It's also called glucose syrup in the store. You'll need one tablespoon. In riddle number six, I have an ear, but I can't hear. I have a stock, but I'm not rich. I have silks, but I don't wear clothing. What am I? Corn. The ear of corn from a corn stalk has little corn silks inside. Anyways. What we're gonna need is corn flour, also aka cornstarch. We'll need one teaspoon. Set aside from the other bit. Riddle number seven, I'm an edible dye that changes the colors of foods and drinks. What am I? Food coloring. So get out your favorite food coloring. And we'll also need food flavoring, like vanilla extract or another extract. A really nice one is orange essence, actually. It's very pleasant. All right, riddle number eight, I'm finely ground powder that dissolves quickly in water. Used in cold drinks and baking, what am I? It's castor sugar, or we call it up here super fine. Super fine sugar it is. 
So many of you may wonder, what does this make? It's homemade jelly beans, yay! And here's how to cook them up. First, you're gonna mix together the sugar and the corn flour, aka cornstarch, until it's smooth. Then add the water and the syrup. Keep stirring to keep it going smoothly. Don't let it lump up. Using a fork for this may help with that. Continuously stir this mixture to keep it smooth. Heat to 245 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 118 degrees Celsius, using a candy thermometer to check the temperature. Pour this mixture into the jelly bean molds and leave to cool for at least two to three hours. Next, you're gonna sift off the corn flour that settled on top. Now you can coat the beans by combining the food coloring and the food flavoring, like vanilla extract, for example, with the super fine sugar and then use this mixture to coat over top of the beans. Here's the chef's tip. If you don't want them to be raw and lumpy looking, if you want the jelly beans to have a more smooth surface like the ones you buy in the store, you'll need to tumble them. For example, by using a child's rock tumbler. Um, hopefully there's no rocks in it. <laughs> Just get yourself a new tumbler. And to tumble the jelly beans, do just one colored batch at a time so they don't bleed into each other. You can add a quarter cup of extra caster sugar or super fine sugar to the beans and tumble for one hour. Then tip them out of the tumbler and remove the excess sugar from the inside and the beans, put the beans back in with some grated cocoa butter and tumble again for another one hour more. And voila, you're smooth, coated, homemade jelly beans a fun treat to enjoy make up a few extra batches and go visiting or have a movie night invite everybody in and spread the fun this is venus kalita wishing you a wonderful rest of your damn soul i'll see you next time